I had the chance to speak with director Eric Willis, whose film, Wholesome Grove, will screen at this year's Kansas City Film Fest International on Saturday, April 13th at 1.20pm. The director will be in attendance at the festival with a Q&A immediately after the screening. You can get tickets right now at kcfilmfest.org. Alrighty, so thanks for speaking with me today, Eric. I am so excited to talk about Wholesome Grove and hear about your film. So I ask this of all the filmmakers that I talk to as a part of KC Film Fest. Uh, to start out, just let me know what Wholesome Grove is all about. Well, um, Wholesome Grove, it's a um, family drama about a greedy CEO who is trying to buy up and destroy a patch of land called Wholesome grove and a terminally ill teenager who's trying to save it before she dies mm -hmm. and when they meet they basically both their lives are changed forever and so this was filmed locally in saint joseph i believe correct oh uh, well we had two scenes in saint joseph okay and uh, the bulk of the rest of the movie was shot here in the metro area mm -hmm. uh, we went as far as um up north um Eleven more of the up down south to Olathe, hmm. um, downtown by Union Station, just all over. Gotcha. I live in Olathe, so I'm sure it'll <laughs> um, be nice to to see my hmm. my town represented. So, um, it, what are you you know now that you're playing in, in the festival circuit? What are you most excited for people to discover with Wholesome Grove? Um, I think just a good, solid, for lack of a better term, wholesome <laughs> uh, movie. Yeah. Um, you know, something that will it's um, it will hit some emotions, mm -hmm. uh, make you laugh, make you cry, and basically just kind of a really good feel good movie. Yeah, and that definitely uh, comes across with this this film. Definitely a good wholesome feel good movie. Um, what was some of your original inspiration behind Wholesome Grove when you were first uh, putting this film together? Uh, well, there was. Um, I wrote this actually, I think, back in two thousand like nineteen. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> as a movie back in nineteen eighty two called Six Weeks with Mary mm -hmm. Tyler Moore and Dudley Moore, and I kind of loved that movie growing up, and that was kind of the inspiration. I wanted to write a film and make a film kind of along the same lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And so with, you know, working in Kansas City and working with the, the local talent here, what's uh, what would you say are some of your favorite things about Kansas City's film community? Um, I think it's it's obviously mostly the people. Um, mm -hmm. if, if the people believe in a script, um, they're willing to bend over backwards to, to bring it to life. Mm -hmm. um, everybody was incredibly flexible. Um, as in every independent film, we ran into a few hiccups. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we got through, we had to reschedule some shoot days, things like that. But everybody was more than willing to adjust their schedules to make sure it got done. Yeah, uh, that's great. So uh, what would what would be your advice to someone wanting to get into the film community and wanting to <clears throat> make a film? Um, well, when I first started, you know, I did. I did. I have a theater background. Mm -hmm. Didn't know anything about independent films. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I discovered them, and you know, wrote, read some articles, things like that. And I'm sure everybody's heard the quote before: "Is you know, just go out and make the damn film." You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, don't talk yourself out of it. Um, just go out and do it. Mm -hmm. Um, and. You know, the first one's not going to be great. You got to realize that. And just, you know, do the best you can with what you got. There are plenty of resources here around town. Um, the areas around here, locations are just, most of them are great about letting you shoot there. Mm. And, um, and my advice, especially like for somebody that's starting out, is don't be afraid to go out into the small towns to mm. find the location. Because they're even more flexible. They're even more excited to have somebody shoot a mm -hmm. film there. I mean, I'm um, in about three weeks, I'm shooting a film, and I'm all going all the way down to Lacey in Kansas to shoot one of the scenes. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, definitely, you know, great resources here. 
tons of uh, great people to work with and a lot of great locations too. So that comes across in your film, Wholesome Grove. Um, I know there's a lot of people that have been talking about it on social media that were involved with it that are going to come out to to go see it. So we're excited to you know, get a screen your film and get a show it to Kansas City. So um, I definitely encourage anyone watching this to get out, see Wholesome Grove when it screens at the KC Film Fest. Yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, this is like the, the fifth time I've tried to make it and the first time I've made the festival. And um, I'm really proud of this film. Like I said, it's, it's going to hit a few emotions here and there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like super excited for everybody to see it in that venue. Awesome. So uh, I'm excited to get a screen it with everybody at the KC Film Fest. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks again for talking with me today, Eric and everyone go out and see Wholesome Grove. Mm -hmm.